Hello everyone, the time has come for a new trading plan. Uh, this week we are going to back, go back to a currency pair. We previously had a plan on it, uh, which uh, fulfilled on 100%. And by reaching our uh, main target, uh, it also reached a weekly support area. So uh, now I expect a bounce from that area and a new wave up. What you see on the screen now is the uh, Euro Canadian dollar currency pair and this is the weekly time frame. I'm gonna start the analysis from the weekly time frame, go down to the daily time frame and then move to the H4 to complete the analysis. So first thing we notice is that from this weekly resistance area where we posted our previous plan on this pair, uh, the price dropped reaching this weekly support but failing to break it. As you can see here, uh, it made two small bearish candles inside of that area and then a good uh, bullish candle engulfing the previous bearish candles and now uh, the price continues to move up. Another thing, I'll turn on the MA indicator, a moving average on 200 periods. We can see that still uh, the pair is in an uptrend, the MA is below the price and uh, if we turn the Ichimoku indicator, we can see that over here uh, the, pr the price touched the Ichimoku cloud and uh, jumped from it, so bounced from it. So uh, if you don't know, the Ichimoku cloud usually uh, acts either as a support or resistance. Now enough on the weekly time frame, uh, my expectations here are again for the price to go back up to this weekly resistance. Uh, let's go to the daily time frame and see how things are going there. Now what we can see here, oops, sorry I moved this a little bit. Uh, what we can see here is that we had a few waves down from the weekly resistance. The first one here, then a correction then another wave, then a correction. Now, I would consider this area uh, previous uh, daily resistance which was broken here and you can see that it made a small correction here, bounced from that area and dropped for a new wave down. Uh, and when reached back, uh, it again reacted from that area and is currently breaking it. So if we see a break of this uh, small area here today, I would expect this area to turn into a daily support area and uh, for the price to continue its uptrend from here. Again here if we turn the uh, 200 moving average we can see that just here uh, the moving average was touched and the price bounced from it and uh, this confirms the daily uptrend. Now, um, I have defined two other levels which will be uh, the next two daily resistance levels and will be our uh, primarily targets. So the first one is this bottom here, uh, the pair made after this wave down. So this will be our first and main target. I hope we reach it by the end of this week. And a more long-term target would be somewhere here or possibly all the way up here at the weekly resistance. Now going to the H4 to complete our analysis. Uh, we can see that currently uh, the pair is in a range. Uh, it's forming a square formation. Uh, the moving average is again below the price, so I expect even if the price drops for a while, it should bounce somewhere from here and continue the wave up. Also, the Ichimoku indicator is showing an uptrend. Uh, here, I would like to uh, show this area to you. So we are going to take this uh, basically square formation which uh, the pair is currently forming somewhere here. And uh, what are the expectations here on the H4? Now there are two, actually there are three possible scenarios but we'll mainly focus on two. 
uh, one of the scenarios is for the pair to remain for a little while here uh, in this square before breaking it and reaching our uh, target one zone. Uh, the second scenario is for the pair to just uh, go through that uh, top of the range, probably make a small correction back to it and move up to our target one zone. And of course the last scenario is for the pair to break the bottom of this uh, square and to make a final wave down. Uh, if that happens, we'll just monitor and see when the reversal starts in order to look for entry points. Uh, if the pair breaks this bottom of the square, um, I'll look for entries and my uh, first target would be this uh, daily resistance. Now, this is all. Uh, I do believe that this plan will uh, unfold by the end of the week, so stay focused on it. I'll post live signals, of course, on our Twitter profile based on it. Uh, and if you go on TradingView, you'll see in the description the fundamental analysis for this week for the Euro and for the Canadian dollar. Also, I want to say that we keep um, watching our trading plan from last, last week on the uh, US dollar uh, Chinese Yuan, uh, which uh, first entry on it failed, but currently the pair is in, in a, uh, again in a consolidation on the H4, forming a square formation, so we might have a good chance to entry soon, so follow us on that as well. Uh, thank you very much and I wish you a profitable week.